This is the empowerment of channeling. Um, the, the experience I've had with, with, with channeling myself is clarity. It's always been about clarity, how to, um, how you end up becoming clear. So through confusion, um, it's, it's like you, you, you're lost in this sort of mist. And with, with channeling, um, you, you, receive, you receive this, this wisdom and it helps to clear things up. So it's like a, ah, I get it now. It's like a, aha, yes, of course. So sorry, it's, it's almost like it's digging into something that you already, we already actually know, uh, but it helps to uh, make things clearer. And the, the channeling um, that I've, I've picked up um, with myself is, is, is helped me through relationships, it's helped me through self-knowing. It's helped me uh, at work. It's, it's so many different areas uh, that you wouldn't expect uh, the empowerment of channeling uh, to be, but it's um, ultimately, I've noticed it's about clarity. And um, when, I, when I used to help people to move home with a van, um, I, I quite a small van. It was it was it was a um, it, was, it was just a regular um, kind of it was like a typical long wheelbase van. Um, it was just so high, but it wasn't like a massive home removal. And I would turn up, and people you know people would say, "How on earth are you going to get uh, my stuff in there?" And I say, "Don't worry." So what I'd do is is I would um, walk around their house, and I would I would see everything. Um, that's actually going. Now, obviously, they, they explained to me beforehand um, what they were, what was moving. But I would, I would go in there, uh, in the house, and see what um, was going to go in the van. And I would, it's almost like there was a, a marrying up of the space with the van with the stuff in the house. And in this passive um, state, I would get myself into with channeling. It would help me to load the van, and um, I would feel, you know, what would actually go in first. How would I put that in? And I would always get the thing, uh, thing in in the van safely, soundly, uh, nice and packed. And at the end, you know, people just thought, "Oh, I'm, I'm amazed you know, you've managed to get all that in." And that's that's one of the things of channeling. So it's 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 not just simply. Um, talking about you know wisdom from higher dimensions, but it's it's actually the the, the, the power is living it. It's actually bring it into your body when you're out and about. You know when you're uh, talking to people, when you're driving the car, when you're um, tidying your home, when you're with your your partner, with your children, um, your health. So there's there's a whole array of empowerment that channeling really brings and the, the there's, there's some real creativity so you've got um poetry that comes out there's poetry there's art uh, acting there's uh, invention you know, the creativity um a whole array of amazing disciplines science as well you know science i honestly feel um the, the Channelings has had a major contribution to science. Um, if you actually look at the, the, the real discipline of, of a scientist, the, the, the whole point is that a scientist is always open. So they're open and they, they, they notice the, the world around and you know, how, you know, what's, what's happening to see the patterns. So there's huge amounts of um, uh, em empowering uh, information that you can receive uh, just from channeling, I really, really encourage you know people to pursue this practice. It's not just simply um, uh, learning from other channelers, but actually, uh, actually to do it for yourself. Um, so anyway, that's uh, that's my thoughts on the empowerment of channeling. So if you have any thoughts, any questions, please leave them down below. And I'll get back to you. Um, thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw here, please leave a like and subscribe. And hopefully you'll come back again. Um, thank you very much.